Hi everybody. Okay, let's take a look. This is our warm-up for today. Um, we've got a food web shown here, and I want you to name the producers in the food web. Remember where producers get their energy, so it's real easy, even if you don't know how to pronounce something, or it could even be in a foreign language. If you know it's a food web, you can see where organisms um, maybe are not consuming something, so you know they're getting their energy through photosynthesis. Um, so you can identify the producers that way. And then give me one specific example of competition in this web and explain why it's competition. So, um, Ms. Borowski, if you'll hit pause while the kids finish that up and take attendance. Okay, so now we're back. Let's go back and look at that food web now. So the producers would have been the phytoplankton here because there's not an arrow pointing to them, so they must make their own energy, also called an autotroph or autotroph. And then we've got uh, some seaweed here. So you might be aware of seaweed, but there's no arrow pointing to it, so it must make its own energy as well. Giving uh, a specific example of a competition in the web, basically you find um, if there is an organism like the fish here who has arrows going away from it in two directions, that means two different organisms are eating it, you know that two things are competing for it. So therefore, um, the seagull and the uh, leopard seal are competing for this fish. Um, you could have had the penguin and the elephant seal. So where's my penguin? Penguin and the elephant seal are competing for the squid. And, and we would have had the killer whale here. And, oops, the penguin, the killer whale, and the leopard seal. The killer whale and the leopard seal are both competing over penguins because they're both eating those penguins. The blue whale and the fish, the blue whale and the fish are, here's my blue whale and here's my fish are competing over this krill. So that would be competition in the food web. All right, let's look at what we're gonna do today. Your learning target is to identify the different levels in a food web and the feeding relationships in an ecosystem that determine competition and dependency. Remember, you got to depend on getting energy, but then you might compete for those resources as well. Those of you who uh, have a 1B retest, you need to take care of that by Friday the 26th. That time's going to run out, so go ahead. You could be working on that 1B with the instructions. Everybody's going to watch an Ed Puzzle together. The people virtually will be watching it at the same time, just not on the screen that's shared. You'll be doing it through your Google Classroom. Number two, you have readings over food chains and food webs. You're going to have 15 minutes, kind of going to gauge the time. You need to work through that reading. That reading is then going to be, um, you'll have a worksheet that goes with it. You'll get that after you've had time to read. You'll complete the worksheet, and then that worksheet is used to transpose your answers into a Google form. The questions in the form match the worksheet. Uh, don't try to do it straight into the Google form. It gets too confusing. So make sure that you do that, and that will be taken as a daily grade. If you don't finish the worksheet in the Google form, by uh, make sure you do it for next class meeting as homework. And again, don't forget text corrections and retest. Have a good day, and I'll see you real soon next class period.